Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Just That Misplay and Mrs. Misplay, and we're getting ready to crack open a Flesh and Blood Arcane Rising booster box. But we're not cracking open the box just to crack it. We're going to do a six-pack sealed draft between me and Mrs. Misplay. So let's just let's get started. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. All right. How about you do the honors? Okay. Crack open this bad boy. How's it feel? Feels like a box. <laughs> you want me to um, do it showcase style or you tuck it? Yeah. Sure. Make it nice and pretty. You want me to tuck it in too? Boom. Look, we got two canos at the top. And I, I just got to say, if you don't mind, I'll make those my, my first two pack picks. Sure. All right. And I'll do the same with this lady. Dash? And then I, you know what? I'll pick these two. Sure. That seems fair. Mm -hmm. This is probably my favorite dude. The favorite hero? Mm -hmm. Viscerai. Alright, and then this. I'm going to dig a little deep. We'll just get this guy. And, oh, look at that. Two Viscerais as well. Nice. So there's my six. I'm going to make it easy and just take... Two on top, all right. I'll be the complicated one. <laughs> no big deal, all right? All right, so I guess we'll just keep the rest of those sealed. Mm -hmm. We have our six packs each. You got yours? You want to go first? Yeah, mine. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll, I'll go first. Open the box, you open the first pack. Scoop from the bottom. We're going to start off with it. Mr. Kino himself. Now, these packs can be a little difficult sometimes, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to crack it like this and just yank it out. Starting off on the back with a rune chant token. So right here, we there's four generic actions, and then we have a generic equipment. Null rune robe, which I'm sure will definitely be useful this draft. We have a stir the aether winds. As our rare, and our second rare is Spellblade Assault, followed by a foil. He looks cool. Index. Yeah. Look at that beard. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's <Nice>. parted. <laughs> we got some cool spells here. Another index. And, okay. Ooh. Wizard Weapon. All right, okay. there's my pack uh -huh. one. Okay, you so said these are hard to open, right? Yeah. I'm sure you'll get it. Hey. Hey. I did it. I got the crucible of the same weapon that you did. Yeah. Oh, am I opening these backwards? Yeah, well the very last card in the pack uh -huh. is a double sided token. Oh, that's a rye. Oh yeah, sorry, so you got a hero. <laughs> I'm starting from the back. He so looks the first cool. Yeah, he's beefy dude. The first four are common generic actions, so they can go in any deck. Okay. Followed by an equipment. Okay. And then your rare for the pack is Oath of the Arc Knight. Oh, so the, that's kind of in the middle-ish. Yeah, the yeah. And this then, is my first pack of flesh and blood ever. Yeah. I don't really know what I'm looking at, but... <laughs> you gotta learn at some point. how we gotta learn, right? Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Locked and loaded. Gory. Right. Cool. Wizard. Action looks cool. Scalding rain. And he looks so cool. Viscerai. Viscerai. He's the, what, the rune blade? Rune chant? Runeblade hero. Runeblade. Young one. Speaking of Viscerai, that's my next pack I'm going to crack open. You were lucky enough to get a hero. So if you don't pull a hero that 
you have a bunch of good cards for, I don't think you can essentially run it, right? right? I don't know. So you have to pull the hero and then hope you pull some good cards. Moonwish and Sunkiss right off the bat. Push the point. Null rune boots for our equipment. Take covers are rare. Oh, that's pretty. Right? Stained glassness. Uranus prayer. And a foil sun kiss. You and the foils. Right? Very nice. <laughs> Oh. oh, so I got two heroes in one. Nice. That's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Excellent. So that's uh, some potential right there. Very nice. Very nice. So what was my card on the other side? So only one card in the pack. Is double sided like that? Yeah, the very last card. Oh, I got another viscera. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> okay. Well, that tells me that my hand is backwards. <laughs> okay. Another guy. The boots are your equipment. Uh huh. And then after that, you get two rares. Okay. So the first one's a rare, the second one is a rare or higher. Okay. Then the third one's a foil. And that foil you actually pulled in the last pack. Yeah. Same as that card. Throttle. Throttle school. Sickum shot. Cool. Overloot. That's cool. There's the beard. beard. Beard dude. Zap. Really cool. Oh. I think he's really cool looking. That's so the that, adult version. The adult too. and then the young versions on the other side. That's really cool. Yeah. He looks really awesome. He's a sweet hero. He seems a little, might be a little complicated to play. But I mean, I think at this point, all of them are going to be complicated for me to play. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, 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 have, we haven't played yet. <laughs> Guys, this is our first game we're going to play after we make these decks. Oh, Crucible of Aether Weave. More sun kisses. Just kissing the sun all day. Bracers of Belief. Either Sync for our rare, Spellblade Assault for our second rare, and Mage Master Boots for our foil. Not too bad. Always good to see uh, foil equipment. And we got some things. Oh, Reverberate. Voltic Bolt. Oh, another dash. Hmm, I wonder what deck you're going to be running. Right? So far, it looks like a dash. Looks like a dash. No. All right. Pack three. This one's, there we go. There's the hole. This is the third one of these guys I've gotten. He's come to fight. Yeah, he's, he's... ready for battle. It's a really cool looking card. Yeah, the artwork is just really cool. so sweet. Gracious, I believe, and then we got our rare. Ooh. Or the Arc Knight. That's the Rune Blade action, so that's cool. Silver the tip. That looks really awesome. And foil pedal to the metal. Lots of steampunk Ooh, cool. in this pack. Yeah, that's that's a really cool element. Room Flash. Room Flash is cool. Death Dealer. So that's the weapon for the Ranger, I believe. Okay, we haven't gotten the Ranger yet, right? No, um, I got one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was the double sided one. Mm hmm. Cool. Speaking of Ranger. I think she looks really awesome. Yeah. I would agree. Oh, and there's the bow for it. You better watch out. It's going to be a ranger deck, I think. I reckon. Achilles Accelerator. I've never seen that card before. Take aim. Aether Spindle. And a foil. Rune Flash. Rune Flash. That's a sick looking card. I'm trying to get it to hit the light right. Look at that. Dang, that's crazy. Some other cards in the pack, index. Look at Dash just zipping on in here, zipping on by. A 
But the pack's getting a little easier to open. Yeah, once you figure out how to open them, it gets easier. Another rifting. Cadaverous contraband. Moonwish. Ooh, These mage boots look so much cooler in the foil version. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that looks really awesome. For the mold. I almost thought I had doubles. Cognition but... nodes. That's cool. Oh, that's sick. Look at that. That's Ninth so blade nice. of the blood oath. <laughs> that's put really that cool. way. Well, you got to put that sucker up <laughs> to the camera. Wow. That's really cool. That's a super rare foil. Awesome. I don't think we have any of those non foil or foil. I haven't seen foil. that one yet. That's for sure. I haven't seen this either one either. Flare. That's cool looking. Rain Flash and a Zelda. Uh oh, now you got a bow and a archer. Nebula Blade. Oh, the Rune Blade's weapon. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Another Azalea pack. Or Azalea. It's definitely Azalea. <laughs> Azalea. Hmm. Alright. Rifting. Fate Foreseen. Vigor Rush. Moonwish. Those boots, man. Made for walking. Take aim. Spark of Genius. Super for uh, Mechanologist. Ooh, look at that. Foil That's so cool. Voltic bolt. That is cool. Wow. Getting some Jace vibes there. Mm-hmm. Hyperdriver. Okay. Not too bad. Nebula Blade and a Rune Chant. Okay. I still only have two heroes. <laughs> so it's either like Dash or got, Azalea. Did, is it, did you get the adult... Azalea or the young one? Um, I don't remember. I don't. I don't know. I think I got the young one. I might have gotten the oh, adult. Oh, there's too. my my guy again. Come to fight. Whoa. Null rune gloves. Either spindle knife. Life for a life. I don't think I've seen that card before. Oh, there's the beard guy. Hey, you got a foil beard. <laughs> If your beard ain't foil, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you I'm think lucky he likes enough you. to get twins, twinsies over here. Right. Telco, that's really cool looking. Machinologist is really cool. I like the idea of like the uh, steampunk. The steampunk aspect of it. It's, it's really cool. Last pack. And we got to take these packs and build decks with them. Oh, if it wants to open. There's Azalea. Whether I had it or not, I got it now. Let's just flip it and see. Oh, and the adult Azalea. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Moonwish. Null Rune Robe. Pour the mold. Knock the death whistle. <gasps> That's my favorite card. Super. Yeah, I've never... I have not pulled this card yet. So that's awesome to see. And then Spellblade Strike. The foil... The foil glitter in that purple flame is just pretty sweet. Salvage Shot. Okay. Oh, and Azalea. That's really cool. Are you yeah. thinking you're going to make an Azalea deck? I think I'm going to have to. Got some pretty decent ranger cards, so. And I didn't get a weapon for Dash. Which is the machine. Mechanologist. Moonwish and Sonkiss. Oh, cool. and whoa, whoa, who's that in the front? My guy. <laughs> he's That's he's my just guy. always showing up. <laughs> Another Oath of the Argonite. That's your Another, third one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's so cool. Pedal to the metal. And Ridge Rider shot. Foil. That's cool, too. I'm liking the artwork on these cards. Very nice. Searing shot. Locked and loaded. Cool. 
That's a really cool card too. I was looking at that. Mm-hmm. And Azalea. And another Telco With pistol. that gap. Very cool. Alright, that's that. So we're going to take these cards and we're going to build a deck with them. We'll see you guys in the next video. No, whoops. We have our decks built. I'm running Azalea. And I'm running Viscerai. Viscerai, the Rune Blade. We're going to get started. We're ready to play. So we'll roll for first. Seven. Oh, got me <laughs> with a 10. So this is our very first draft together. So we are learning the game. There might be some misplays in this video, but I hope that there aren't. Oh, there will be. There'll be at least two. In this video. At least two, right? So I'm going to use my action to play Read the Runes. Okay. And I'm going to give myself three rune chant tokens. Right, might as well just throw it off. All right. Throw it off? Camera? Yeah. Throw it over there somewhere. Okay. I got my three brain chants. Oh, Arsenal. Look at the art me. Do I, I don't have to tell you what I do? Arsenal, do I? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so I went ahead and played Knock the Death Whistle for zero. I searched my library for an hour card, put it on top, reveal it and put it on top, and then I get to reload. I'm going to choose Ridge Rider Shot. It just attacks for four. If it's in my arsenal face up when I play it, I get to opt one and it goes on top of my deck and I get to reload. So I get to put a card from my hand into my arsenal and put that card in my arsenal right here. And then I'm going to use Azalea's ability, mm -hmm. pay zero, and I'll put this card face down from my arsenal to the bottom and put the card from the top of my library into my arsenal. So I'm like loading an arrow, essentially. And if it's an arrow card, it gains dominate till I'm turn. Now dominate means you only block with one card from your hand. And then if a treasure shot is put into your arsenal face up, opt one. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna opt one right now. And I'll keep it on top. I'm going to attack you with a rich rider shot. I'm gonna pay zero and attack you for four. And it has dominate, so you can only block with one card. I'm gonna block you with my moon wish. Okay, so you'll block two of it, mm -hmm. and then you'll take two. Yep. That hits the graveyard, because I do not have go again or anything like that. I'll put one card in my arsenal, and I'll end my turn. You're up. Okay. In my arsenal, I have Oath of the Arc Knight. I'm going to pitch my Read the Runes to pay for Oath of the Arc Knight. Okay. I get to go again. So I'm going to go again, and then I'm going to pitch another Oath of the Arc Knight to play Cadaverous Contraband. Okay. So how Visceri works is you have to play um, a non-attack card first, and then a Rune Blade card, which it didn't work out this turn. Okay. But that's okay. I'm still going to attack with my Cadaverous Contraband. And if he hits you, put a non-attack action card from my graveyard to the top of my deck. Okay. For six, huh? For six. And then when I play an attack action, my rune chants are going to hit you for one arcane damage apiece. So those blow up, I take three mm -hmm. damage. Three. Go to 17. So you create a rune chant token from... This as well, right? Mm -hmm. And then it has go again, and you're casting Cadaver's Contraband. That's the it's one. It's gonna hit you. Okay. I already took the damage. I blocked two of it, and I took four, so I go to thirteen. Okay. This gets put in my graveyard. And, and all these blow up, and I take one more damage. Yeah. And then this goes away as well. Very very messy. This way. <laughs> it's just. This that just no, seems... no misplay happened. 
that just in seems, the making of this video. <laughs> it's, it's almost a little discouraging because <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, right off the bat. Uh, <laughs> turn one, Casey. You'll fix it. You'll fix it. I will try to. You draw four at the end of your turn. Okay. And then it's my turn. I'm going to use Zaylee's ability. Throw this card to the bottom. This is, this is a challenge. Arsenal. It's not easy. Oh, I arsenaled an arrow. It means dominate. So you can only block with one card from your hand. I am going to sacrifice my Bracers of Belief to reveal the top card of my deck. My next attack plus X for X is 3 minus the pitch value, and then it has go again. The pitch value is 2, so my next attack gets gets one attack. Pitch in a yellow, and I'm going to attack you with Headshot for 7 damage with Dominate. Dang. I'm going to block with my fate for scene and take three. Nice. I'll put a card face down on my arsenal and pass my turn. I feel like this game would be a lot easier too if like we had more cards to choose to make the deck more efficient, you know? Like I feel like I, there's a lot of cards in this deck that are just filler. Like they're not helping me, they're just there to like Especially like Sun Kiss, Moon Wish. That that was kind of a letdown. Like I mean it works, but it's also like you gotta get there. Yeah. Yeah, I can see making a blitz deck out of these decks would be a lot of fun, I think. Mm -hmm. You you can pick more equipment that'll actually like help the hero. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. I'm going to play my plunder run. And the next time an attack card you control hits this turn draw a card but it does have go again i'm going to use my bracers of belief and when i use him they get destroyed you reveal the top card of your deck mm -hmm. and then I you do. get minus the uh, pitch pitch values one mm -hmm. so you get so plus my two next attack card gets plus plus two on your next attack right and then i will play my Fervent Forerunner. Right, so next time your attack action hits, draw a card, because of Plunder Run. Right, so I'm attacking you with this. For five. Right. I'll block five. So he doesn't hit. Okay. He doesn't have go again. Okay. He goes by wise, and mm -hmm. so does my creatures. I'll pay zero to throw that from Arsenal on the bottom. Oh, he goes by wise too. Yeah. Right. You draw f up to four. And I'm paying zero to use Azalea's ability. Reveal the top. I'll pitch a blue. And I will play Foresight. If this plays from Arsenal, I get the op two. I'll keep one on top and put the other on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And my next, the next attack action I play this turn gets plus two as well. I will use my second resource to use the death dealer action. Put it face up into my arsenal if it's an arrow, and it is, and then I get the draw card. And then I will use my last resource to attack you with Sikkim Shot for damage. Um, I'll take four damage. Okay. And I will arsenal one card. Say go. Okay. I will pay zero to play lead the charge. And then the next time I play an action card with zero or greater, I get one action point. I okay. Get to go again. That helps with my viscerai. Okay. Um, then... I will pitch my read the runes mm. and gain four. Okay. And then play my let's build invocation. So now I get go again and I get another action point. So I get two more goes. So I'm going to go again and then I'm going to get three rune chant tokens. So you get one from Viserai. One from Viserai. Do you get one from this? Three. Only when an attack action. Card oh, okay, I that's right. Hits. 
That's right. It's when you deal the damage, and then you get... Okay. Right. It's so, a setup card. Right. So I pitched this card okay. and played these three. Yeah. I still have two. Yep. So I'm going to swing with my Nebula Blade. Yes. Perfect. If he hits, I get another Rune Chant token, and he also gets plus three until end of turn. Okay. For four, I'm going to play a defense reaction for zero. That Will block. these four hit automatically? Yes. So I take four. Mm -hmm. Go to eight. And that'll block four, and then it has reload. So I get to put an arrow from my hand uh, into arsenal. I think it's face down, so, yeah. And did you just join my Nebula Blade? No. Okay. Does it stay tap? Do no, we tap in this game? No, <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> okay. It's more of, like, to show that you used it. Okay. And then all these... Wait. So the aura gets put. This goes under your library. That's right. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to pitch a blue. Mm hmm And then I'm going to play Foresight. The next attack action gets plus three. I'll use the headshot, five damage. I'm gonna block with my drawn to the dark dimension. Okay, so you'll take two damage. Yes. Arsenal card, and all right, I'll pass turn. You're up. Okay, I'm going to pitch my vigor rush to play. Cadaverous contraband and attack for four. And then what does it put a non If it hits, I just put a um, non attack card from the graveyard to the top of my deck. Okay. I think I'll block three. Then I'll take one. Mm hmm. So that is considered a hit though. Yeah. Yep. So I get three room chance. Nice. Okay. The bigger rush goes to the bottom of my deck. Mm hmm. And then I will put this in my arsenal. I think that's the end of my turn. Mm hmm You draw four. And pass turn. Alright, I'll use Azalea's ability mm -hmm. to put it on the bottom, reveal the top, and put it in arsenal. I'll actually play that from arsenal for zero. Next ranger attack is plus two, and then I get the reload. I get go again. I'll pitch a yellow, and then I'll attack with my card from Arsenal. It'll hit you for four, five, six damage. I'm going to block with my eight for scene and take two. Okay. And then that arrow actually gets go again. One resource left. I'll use Death Dealer to put that Arsenal face up. And then I will play it. If it's put into your arsenal face up, I get the opt one. Put that on the bottom. And I will attack with it for zero. And I'll hit you for four. Um, I'll block with my blood spell invocation. And block two? Block two. Okay. Uh, take two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all I have. Your turn. Okay. I'm going to play my Amplify the Arc Knight with my three room chants. I'm going to attack with my Amplify the Arc Knight. Alright, so you're hitting me for six, but before that goes off, these three blow up, right? These three blow up, yes. Three? I'll take three. Then you're hitting me for six, or attempting to at least. Mm -hmm. I'll block four of it. Okay. So I take two, right? Mm hmm. And your turn. I'm going to pitch. Whisper of the Oracle for yellow for two resources. And I'm going to attack you with Moonwish for five. If it hits, I get to get a Moonwish. No Moonwish for you. No. No Moonwish for you. I think I'm going to block with these two. Read the runes and some kiss. Four. Four. So you take one. I take one. And I get to search my deck for some kiss. Boop. Goes to my hand. <laughs> I'm almost out of cards. How do you have so many cards? Hmm. Okay. So, Sun Kiss goes to my hand, right? Mm hmm. I actually don't have another action, though, unfortunately. So, you know how that goes. I can arsenal it. 
and I'll draw the four mm -hmm. faster. Okay. I'm going to play my Whisper of the Oracle for zero. Okay. I get to op two. I get to go again. And then I'm going to pitch my Rune Flash to pay for my Nebula Bleed. Okay. And swing for four. I'll block three. And I'll take one. I'm at one life. Turn your turn? Yep. I keep tapping like I'm playing magic. Yeah. Sorry. All right. I'll use his yellow as ability. Mm -hmm. Throw that on the bottom and reveal that top card of my arsenal. I'm going to pitch take aim for three. Then I'll play lead the charge. So the next time I play an action card that costs one or greater this turn, I get an action point. And then I get to go again. Two resources for Moon Rush. I'll attack you for five. For five? Mm-hmm. And it gets go again. I'll block with my Sun Kiss. For two? For two. So you take three. And you go to one life. This is interesting, right? Mm-hmm. So when Moon Wish hits, I get to search my deck for a Sun Kiss. It's on the bottom. I'll reveal it. And because Lead the Charge gave my... Moonwish, another action point. Remove the last resource and use Death Dealer to throw a Ridge Rider shot into my arsenal. And when it enters the arsenal face up, I get the Opt 1 on the bottom. Then I will play Sunkiss for 0. Gain 3 life. You punk. And then if you played a card named Moonwish this turn, draw a card and Sunkiss gains go again. So I get to draw a card and then go again again. I'll attack you for three. I guess I'm gonna have to block with my rune flash. For three? For three. Okay. I'll arsenal this guy and pass the turn. Um, I'm going to have to pitch my moon wish to play spell blade strike. I get to create a rune chant and I'm going to swing. Attacking me for four. Yeah. I'll block four. Draw four. I'm going to play Ravenous Ravel. I feel the top card of my deck. So it gets minus three. I'm hitting you for two damage. You're hitting me for two damage? Just two damage. But I got go again. I'll block with my Read the Runes. Okay. Can use Azalea's ability to throw that on the bottom and put that face up in the arsenal. Uh, yep, that's it. Pass my turn. Draw a card. Okay, I'm gonna pitch my Oath of the Arc Knight for three, and then I'm gonna play Oath of the Arc Knight. It just says that my next Rune Bleed attack gets plus two um, attack, and then I get to create a Rune Chant. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Life for Life. It has four damage. If life or life hits, I get to gain one. And then when you play life or life, if you have less life than your opposing team, it can't go again. You gotta so go again. I'm going to attack. Which means these two automatically hit for two. So I take two, and I, I have to block four. Or else I lose, right? <laughs> yeah. So I block four. Yeah. And then what? I could go again, but I don't have any cards in me. So at the end of my turn, I draw four. And then it's my turn, and there's nothing I can do. Go ahead. Do something uh, rune chanty. Do something rune chanty, huh? Yeah, I'll play through the runes, and I get to create a rune chant token. Okay. And then I will... Yeah, I'll go again. Oh, Fun. All right, you guys turn to me. Oh, can't do nothing. Okay, <laughs> draw a card. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I draw a card. Now you got nothing. No, I Bring got it on. nothing. Okay. Pitch my moon wish to play Oath of the Arc Knight, and I get a room chant. I get to go again, so I have one extra. So I'll play Bigger Rush 
And I did play a non-attack action card, so I get to go again. But first, I'll swing. And when you do, these two blow up. These two blow up. And you rune blasted me. I rune blasted you, ah! but... What? And then you also take three. And I also take three. <laughs> what a game. So what would you think? What were your thoughts here? It's a cool game. I like takes, it. It takes um, a lot to, to learn. To figure out like what does what and how to handle right. certain situations. Correct. Does it feel like it's a battle? Yeah. And I like how the turns are kind of short. And, yeah, we haven't played a lot. Yeah, we got inter so interrupted, and, like, that was our first game, and I think it was, I think it went pretty fast. I think it went pretty fast, too, especially since we're still learning how to play. Yeah. And as we continue to play, it'll get easier. Have fun editing all that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I do like it. Oh, wait, it doesn't go off because it's not a room bleed. You're sneaky. Just like. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my content and want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the like button. It goes a long way and it really helps out a lot. You can find me on Twitch at Just Add Misplay. We'll talk to you soon and see you in the next video.